the legendary Messerschmitt Kabinenroller is back. Achim Adelfinger, a German expat living in the south of Spain, realized his dream of bringing back to life the fantastic three-wheeled vehicle with both a combustion and an electric version. And the feeling to drive it is, yeah, what can I say? It's half car, half an airplane. So to enter the car, the cockpit is like an airplane. The door opens sideways. The co-pilot sits behind the pilot. So it's a little airplane on the road. The Kabinenroller was originally developed in Germany by Fritz Fendt in 1948. He joined forces in 1952 with Willy Messerschmitt. A year later, the eccentric creation was presented to the public. In 1956, Messerschmitt were allowed to make planes again and soon lost interest in the Kabinenroller project. They sold the works to Fendt, who set up with a car builder called Fahrzeug und Maschinenbau Regensburg. By the end of the production run in 1964, a little more than 40,000 Messerschmitt microcars were produced. The Kabinenroller remained a curious relic of car history. Until Achim Adelfinger resurrected it in his garage, he told Rev all about the rocky road to his goal and the craftsmanship behind the reborn Messerschmitt Kabinenroller. My personal message with story goes back into the year 2014. I met a guy from Germany on an internet platform called Philomobil Forum. He was starting to build a Messerschmitt with battle drive. I was very impressed on this because since 20, 30 years I was planning to build a battle drive vehicle. We met together and then we agreed to make this commercial. So in a record time of four months I built in Spain the prototype. It called Felo Schmidt and on the Spezi show, special human powered vehicle show in Germersheim near Mannheim, we present the, this uh, prototype end of uh, April in 2014. And the reaction of the people was fantastic because Messer Schmidt is back. I was struggling with the name because short before the fair starts, I contacted the Messerschmitt Foundation in Munich because they own the name rights. But they were not so satisfied about my project and they talked, I'm not able to build a car in Spain. It could be possible only in Germany. Two weeks after the show, the Frankfurter Allgemeine wrote, Messerschmitt is back. So my mobile rings short after this article and the foundation called me up and said, welcome back Messerschmitt. So you broke the name back on the public, on the market. After this, we start building the Philo Schmidt in uh, Ljubljana. We sold a lot of vehicles on the Spezi show in Germersheim. But my partner in Ljubljana went bankrupt and I went back to Spain and lost everything. So looking for a new investor, but it was very hard to find one because I have to start from zero on, no molds, nothing. And now we are in the year 2019 and I decide to go ahead by my own and finance everything by my own because the demand of, of Messerschmitt was very high. Every day emails comes in, where can we buy this car and what are you doing? Can we have this with electric, with gas and so on? So then I decide to build a prototype with 125 CCM gas powered. I have done this nearly in 12 months through the lockdown here in Spain. The lockdown was very hard. We built everything in my patio everything by my own. So first prototype, first chassis, and yeah, one year after, the car was ready and German TÜV approved. So road legal, from zero to TÜV road legal in 12 months. It was the time because everything goes electric now. We see it on Mercedes, we see it on Volkswagen, on Audi. So they push the gas powered out and the diesel powered out and go electric.
This is the first time, first rollout, to see the range. We made a range test now. Our customers want to know how far they can go with, with, with a battery load. And for us also, we cannot say you can go 100 km and maybe at least only 50 km. But after this test, we will see what is the through. We follow up the steps for Messerschmitt. We have also a gas-powered one, but we saw on the reaction of our customers, the future is electric. That's through. Now the only petrol part what we made, they go overseas. They are all sold overseas, like Brazil, Chile, and, and the United States. Much more comfort, yes. And no noise. In the 50s, it was a two-stroke, ring, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> and, and, and also stinky about the oil in the, in the gas. So I go again and then we change the driver. The driving on the road now, on the truck, is excellent. It runs like on the rails. Or let's say, like a co -cut. Steering is very aggressive, you see, but it's fun too. <laughs> Currently, we need around four weeks to build a car, four to six weeks with uh, two persons. Now we are on 20 cars. Next year, we say we can make 100, but for me, I say 30, 50 are enough. And we want to stay a little bit more ex exclusive, so we do know a mass product. For a mass product, we have to go to, to Asia, produce in China or in India to keep the costs down. But then it's a, it's a car like all others, and we want to hold the Messerschmitt brand on a, on a higher standard. Here is our chassis. It's full galvanized, fire zinc. Currently we made a wiring loom. It is a little bit extended because we used the original drivetrain from an electric scooter. And the electric scooter is normally a little bit shorter as our unit. And so we have to extend the wiring loom. But this is only the modification what we made on the electric one. All other parts is plug and play. On the front you can see the, the suspension unit. It's like on a race car, it's a double wishbone suspension with full adjustable shocks. Here we have the electric gas pedal, what comes here on the side. And as I said, everything is plug and play. It will be connected with the wiring loom and the job is done. On the gas version, we are on 220 kilo, ready to drive and on the Electric version, we are close to 200 kilo with the standard batteries, so not over 200 kilo. So, big difference. The wheel disc is laser cut in stainless steel, and the rims come from a very special company, it's uh, SIP. They made in Europe the biggest tuning parts for Biaggio and Vespa, and of course this is a, it's a Vespa rim, what we have here. But the wheel disc is special made to fit on our Messerschmitt, so you cannot buy it in a shop or somewhere. So we have here a Formula One style steering wheel. This is a modified steering wheel. Normally it's closed, but to have the aircraft style on the car, which uh, remember on Messerschmitt, we open the steering wheel and also you have good viewings to the dashboard. For the bottom floor and the front, we use special aluminum sandwich. It's a honeycomb sandwich, comes also from Germany, and normally it is used in aircrafts and in super yachts. It's very light, white, and very stiff. So when you enter the car, uh, nothing, nothing uh, knocks or something because it's very, very stiff. And we glue this with a special glue inside, so no rivets, no bolts, only glued. And then we set up the body. That's the body. This is the job what we need to do at the moment here in our workshop because I need to cut it out now for the lights. So I have a special grinder. So the lights will be glued inside with 
special polyurethanic glue. And for adjust it, we have here a screw like on a normal car. We need also to modify the chrome basil to get it here on. So I will, I will do this now. I modified the chrome basil. I removed the, the holders here because this is made for the scooter. Now it's ready. And we try it on the body now. It was also a challenge to make the body to fit the basils because basils comes from, from the basic scooter and you see there is a wave inside, so it's not it's not a flat basil like it was on the on the original Messerschmitt. But the solution is good. Then we have only to buy a second basil for each car and an, and another another heat lamp. <laughs> it has a, a whimper <laughs> like an eye, you see. So very very classic style. So now we receive a two a base scooters. What we use for the for, for one prototype, a racing prototype with 30 horsepower. Brand new, brand new scooters. It's a shame, you will see it, how they look. <laughs> Buenas tardes. My wife will kill me when I take, take this apart. I need to try him now, how he accelerate <laughs> before, I, before I take him apart tomorrow. It's really a shame. Wow. So, just received our two scooters for slaughtering. <laughs> so these are our base scooters, what we use to make the Messerschmitt. Electric, and the gas one comes from the same factory. Why I decide for this model? Because all lights, indicators, front, rear, Rear light, front light, are fits in the Messerschmitt body. We need to look now what uh, parts we can use, mainly the drivetrain, hopefully part of the frame, and the plastic parts, what we have, they are all over, so they go back to the bike dealer. Yeah, we got a special price for it, so he take the plastic parts back. My welder is coming now. I hope he has five chassis for us. We must check them. Oh, it looks, it looks really good, I see it now. So you drilled also all holes inside for zinc? Yeah. yeah. That's cool. The first five serial production frames arrived today. I'm really happy about it because the plan was we do it here, but on the end it cost us too much time to do it on ourselves. And uh, also you need an experienced welder. Of course, the first chassis we have done here in our company, but on the end we have a company, they do it for us. And job is really good done. With the electric version, five kilowatt, we can go with the top speed on around 90, 95 kilometer. But only for a short time. Mm. If you have a lot of acceleration uh, and top speed, it soaks you the, yeah. the power out and then when the battery goes under 75%, you feel it. Here we have the standard batteries with a charge indicator. You see they are fully charged. That's the charger. If you take the batteries out from the car, you can charge it in your home. This is the last step what we made to brand the car and now it is a, a real Messerschmitt. So I'm a little bit proud on this project because everything was done by my own. 